Hey everyone, my name is Abhay Rekar and I'm a software professional with around 4 years of experience and I'm creating a small playlist for Slide Nerd on Java collections and generics. I'll be uploading the complete playlist on my own channel along with a lot of other content. So do check out my channel as well. The link will be in the description below. Hey everyone, welcome back. So in this tutorial, I am going to give you an overview of the Java Collections Framework. Now, as I said before, Java Collections Framework consists of different classes and interfaces, right? So now, let's look at the hierarchy of these classes and interfaces. So here is the hierarchy. Now, just have a look at the notations over here. So these types of boxes represent interfaces and these types of boxes represent classes, right? And also we have a simple arrow over here for extends and a dotted arrow for implements. Okay. So as you can see over here at the top, we have the iterable interface. Then we have the collection interface, which extends from the iterable interface. And after that, we have few more interfaces over here. That is list set and queue, which again extends from the collection interface. And after that, we have some implementation classes over here, for example, uh, the array list class implements the list interface. Then we have hash set, which implements the set interface. Then similarly, a tree set, which implements uh, the navigable set interface and so on. So this is the overall hierarchy. Now you can just uh, note down this diagram or take a snapshot of it so that you can refer it later, right? And again, it does not cover all of the classes and interfaces, but these are the ones uh, that are most commonly used, right? Now. Under the collections framework, we have three important interfaces. One is list, then we have set, and the third one is map. Now uh, in this uh, diagram, we can only see the hierarchy of list and set, but map is missing, right? And that is because map is not a child of collection interface. Okay. So it is a part of the collections framework, but it does not extend the collection interface. So it has a separate hierarchy, right? Now let's look at the hierarchy of the map interface. So this is the hierarchy. Now again, uh, even here we have the same notation. Okay. So we have some classes and some interfaces, right? Now again, you can uh, just note down this diagram or take a snapshot of it for future reference. Okay. Now let's look at some of the characteristics of our three main interfaces that is list set and map, right? So in case of list duplicate values are allowed and insertion order is maintained. Now, when I say insertion order is maintained, it means that when we will display the elements of a list, they will be displayed in the same order in which they were inserted. Okay. So that is the meaning of maintaining insertion order. Now, in case of a set, duplicate values are not allowed and insertion order is not maintained. Then finally we have map. Now map is used to store data in key value pairs. Now here duplicate values are allowed, but duplicate keys are not allowed. And finally insertion order is not maintained. Now in case of a set and map, even though the insertion order is not maintained, we have some of their implementation classes, which maintains the insertion order. Like in case of a set, we have the linked hash set, which maintains the insertion order. Then similarly, in case of a map, we have the linked hash map, which maintains the insertion order. So yeah, that's it guys. This was a quick overview of the Java collections framework. We are going to look at the practicals of these collections from the next tutorial. So thank you for watching and see you in my next tutorial. I hope you like this video. If you are into Java or web development, do subscribe to my channel. The link will be in the description below. I will be uploading a lot of more content over there. Thank you for watching.